Hey Bulldog fans, welcome into this week's edition of Inside Athletics presented by Alabama Power. John Mack, who's joined by head volleyball coach Keeler Chan as we get set for the SOCON volleyball tournament this weekend in Greenville, South Carolina. Coach, I always appreciate your time. Great. I'm glad to be here, John. Well, tournament time is always exciting. I know uh, it's been a little bit of an up and down season and when you get to the tournament time, anything can happen, but you've obviously got, you, you're a nice mix of young and old on your roster, right? But when you look at your upperclassmen, people like Lauren Deaton and Andy Salaski and Kenny McWhorter, I mean, that's got to make you feel pretty good going into tournament play. Yeah, I, I think you can't overestimate uh, the importance of experience. So, um, you know, it's nice having athletes that have been there and done that, been part of uh, championship teams in the past. However, that doesn't guarantee championship teams in the future. Um, so, you know, we need to be humble enough to realize, like, yeah, uh, we, we, have, we, we have what it takes, and we also know that other teams do too. So I think it's that, that balance that you've got to strike. You've got the Citadel in the first round. When you look at the tournament, you know, you're seeing these teams for a third time now. When you're seeing a team for a third time, I mean, how do you approach that? What's different the third time around? Um, I mean, you know each other pretty well now. I mean, and you have enough information through scouting and video work that it, there's nothing really new that's going to uncover. You might be able to turn the dial a little bit here and there, but um, you know, really, you want to go down with what you are and who you are going to be, and then um, you know, just just try to attack certain weaknesses that you know, and then eventually it just comes down to being a better volleyball player and team. Um, and if we can do that, that'll be great. Um, you know, but the most important thing that that we can do. I say this, it's time for me to take the coaching hat off and become the ambassador of Mojo. This is about creating Mojo and creating this, this well of belief of, of what you're gonna to try to accomplish or, 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 try, or going to accomplish and get it done. So, you know, um, those are the things that, that I've been focused on this whole week, really. When you look at this season from the start of the year until now, it's obviously been a little bit of an up and down season for you guys. You played really well at home, have been a little bit inconsistent on the road, but really it kind of felt like you guys hit your stride once the calendar turned to October, right? You won 10 of your last 13 matches. I mean, what was for you the big difference between the first half of the season and the second half of the season? Uh, well, I mean, functionally we got, we would just start focusing on defense. We figured out some things and we were watching some things and, and trends became really we 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 watch things and they are they trends or are they reality and then the reality is we need to improve defensively, um, and then we need to win some moments. You know, even the even the matches we've lost, they could have turned and 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 there are big moments we call them like winning the big moment and and we've lost those. So uh, conversely, at home we were able to do that. So the goal is to pack up what we have at home and realize like the court's the same and everything is still volley, and be able to do that on the road. And that's what uh, to win a championship we're gonna have to do. It feels like offensively, too, you guys started setting the middles a little more often than we've seen in the past. Was that something that just kind of happened throughout the course of the year? Was that something that was intentional from, from your end? It's been intentional for the last couple of years, um, this, our middle development, the offense in the middle. Um, we feel that to make a jump um, beyond the Southern Conference either, even we're going to have to have a, a more even distribution of, of offense in our program. So there has been a concerted effort to set the middle. Um, I mean, no, it's, there's no mystery. We've been Penn U since we've been here. Um, but you know, and we love we have great outside hitters, and that's that starts your offense. But you you need middles to attack the ball and be effective to win at a high rate for a long time. So we know that that's been a focus. And Kayla's really come along offensively as a setter attacking the ball. So hopefully all those things kind of coalesce and come together in the way that we, we've seen and been working on for the last year and, and for some athletes a couple years. So, um, you know, this is going to be a fun test for us and that's what I want the kids to see that this is all this is is an opportunity to be our best and to uh, to show the world that we can we can rise to meet challenges as individuals and a team. You talked a little bit about the improvement in the defense. Just talk about what you've seen Kate Morgan do in her sophomore campaign. Obviously, she came in and made an instant impact last year as a freshman, but now to be the libero of the year and make you know really some standout defensive plays night in and night out, she's been a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, you kind of touched on it. Um, when Kate came in, she had some talent passing and serving, and she had some deficiencies in defense. And this year, we've really addressed that and talked about it. And she's really rose to meet them. Um, and now she's a more complete libero. Like she can, she can. Be, be efficient in most phases that you ask liberos to be um, and you know she still has some work to do but her, her defensive effort and her ability and skill in that area has definitely i think led her to flourish and let our program continue to grow well we know there's no easy matches in the socon especially when you get to tournament play citadel is a, a good team i mean we saw them win it here on our home court last year and that's who you're going to see in the first round what do you expect to see from the citadel uh, they're a tough team, you know. Those those ladies over there, they they have um, they have a lot on their plate as being students at Citadel. 
Um, so they're, as far as understanding what hard work is, how to be tough, I mean, they are. And I think that that's going to lead them to being a very, very difficult first round opponent for us. So, and they also know how to do it because they did it last year here. So you've already touched on that. And we know that um, they're very capable, very talented. They have one of the better outside hitters they've ever had in Allie Ruffin. Um, and I think that, you know, if she gets rolling, it's going to be rough. So we're going to have to um, make sure that we come prepared and ready to compete from the very tip of play on the whistle. Coach, always appreciate your time. Hopefully uh, you'll be bringing home another championship next week. That is the goal. <laughs> Go, Go Bulldogs. That's head coach Keeler Chan. SoCon tournament starts Friday. Sanford will take on the Citadel 4 p.m. Central Time. That'll do it for this edition of Inside Athletics presented by Alabama Power.